Bev and I are delighted to be concluding this series of short takes on books that have influenced members of the Jesus community. Um, we couldn't stick to one title apiece, so we've picked a few. <laughs> okay. Um, my first choice is a classic from my childhood, um, William's Happy Days by Richmond Crompton. Um, my father read this to me, um, and then Nigel read it beautifully to our own two children. And then coming up to date, I've thoroughly enjoyed Martin Jarvis's rendition of it on Radio 4. Um, it's very much a period piece, but just has so many um, evocative memories for me. Um, my second book is, I suppose, similarly evocative in that it reminds me of my childhood and young adulthood growing up in Derbyshire. I'd moved there from the south, so it was a bit of a foreign country at first. Um, I was surrounded by snippets of conversation that could have come straight out of Alan Bennett's writing. Um, I love his subtle humour with the darker sort of poignancy underlying it. And my favourite piece from Talking Heads is A Chip in the Sugar. We won't mention that he's an extra man. <laughs> no. Okay, and my final sort of um, literature loves are actually contemporary Irish writers. And um, this is a lovely, lovely book that actually Nigel bought me for Christmas, Travelling in a Strange Land by David Park. Um, it's a lovely story of a father who drives miles and miles to go and rescue an ill son from university and bring him back home safely. Um, it's very, very poignant in relation to lockdown as, um, you know, it has a similar feel to some of the things that some of us have gone through. Um, so I thoroughly recommend David Park's work and my other favourite Irish writer is Brian Moore. Over Great. to Nigel. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I've got to start with science fiction. I, I read yards and yards of it as a as a child. Um, perhaps one of the most influential writers to me was Isaac Asimov. He, his novels are full of robots and aliens. In fact, he even talks about laws of ethics for robotics. And he was also an extraordinary human being. So a great example of a genre that really affected me, Asimov's foundation. Actually started in 1940s as, a, as an astounding comic uh, 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 piece. A second book would be Aubrey de Selencourt's The Channel Shore. Uh, kind of represents the passion we both have for sailing. Gliding down the south coast, he takes you on a tour of the anchorages and harbours, creeks and waters of the south coast. Written in the 1950s, perhaps a quieter time, but it's a wonderful book to read as you sail along. And finally, Caroline Criado Paris's book, we don't have the book here, uh, but this is it, Invisible Women. It actually won the Royal Society Book Prize last year. I was chair of the panel. It's a great examination of the biases that are actually there in the data we collect, biases that relate to gender differences. And it's a great read, absolutely should be compulsory reading for almost everybody interested in data and data analytics and how that plays out in the modern world. I think it should be a good a read for everybody. So thank you. Um, and thank you to everybody who supported the Book Fund. Uh, yes. We've enjoyed sharing some titles with you and I really do appreciate everybody's support in this endeavour to help provide books for our students. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>